Hey violins! Today we're talking about Essential Elements 51 called Mirror Image. Before we get into the exercise, let's focus on some warm-ups on the A string and D string. Let's start with the A string. As always, feel free to have your left hand at the neck or the upper bout of your instrument, whichever one is more comfortable for you. With your bow arm, you want to make sure to set your bow at the frog and then pull evenly and slowly across the string with your elbow guiding the motion. Make sure that your bow is straight and parallel to the bridge and the fingerboard. It also should be right in between the bridge and the fingerboard. Let's start with our open A. So even though we don't need to retake in mirror image, it's always good to practice that motion to help guide your bow arm in an organic way. So notice how your elbow on the D string is higher than it was on the A string. Just remember, the lower the string, the higher the elbow. The higher the string, the lower and closer your elbow is to your body. Let's try open string exercises on the D string. So as you can see in mirror image, you'll be starting some of the passages up both this time. So let's try to play those warm-up exercises on the open A and open D strings the other way around. Let's start with up bow on the A string. Just like you would set your bow near the frog when you start down bow, set your bow near the tip this time. Make sure your elbow is fully extended so that it can guide your motion the other way around. Let's start with the A string. Let's do the same thing on D string, and this time, as usual, your elbow will be a little bit higher. Now that we've done our open string warm-ups on A and D string, let's take a look at the music in mirror image. You have four measures total, and we're just working with A and D string just like last time, our exercise 49. But this time, you don't need to retake. During each of the rests, we'll be stopping our bow and starting in a different bowing than the measure before. That's what we call alternate bowings. So for measure one, we have three notes, quarter notes, on the A string, starting down bow, so down, up, down with the rest. We stop our bow, and in measure two, this time, we flip the bowing and play up, down, up, on the D string. The pattern then resets. So let's just look at measures one and two slowly without the metronome so that we know what we're working with. So we're going to start in measure one of mirror image and this is down bow on the A string. Set your bow. Stop during the rest. Lift your elbow and continue on the D string. So that's how you play measure one going into measure two. Let's practice measure two going into measure three so that we can stop at our frog this time without lifting. And just be a little bit careful because at the frog there's always more pressure and more weight at the bow. So you don't need to press as hard to stop the bow. Let's start up bow on the D string at measure two. Stop, drop your elbow, and that's how you play measure two going into measure three. So let's try mirror image. We're going to do this twice even though there's no repeat written in, and I'm going to set the metronome at BPM equals 60. One, two, three, four.
So that was exercise 51 in essential elements called mirror image. As always, go at the speed that you're comfortable with. So you don't need to hit metronome BPM equals 60 from the very beginning. Go slowly, focus on the details, and breathe through all your exercises. That's it. Happy practicing.